Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at an amazing educational game known as Creeps. Now this game is actually very challenging and involves a lot of coding and programming using JavaScript so if you're into that, continue watching this video because you're about to find out what this game is all about. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So once in a while I find these amazing educational games and I'm really really excited to share them with you and this is one of those games, this is actually an, an online game where you play with other people, it's an MMO game, um, basically it's a mo massive multiplayer online game, uh, but it is very very challenging, as a matter of fact it's so hard that I don't think I'm comfortable enough showing you everything that this game has to offer because it is a lot of stuff and as you can see it's actually um, called uh, MMO strategy sandbox game for programmers, which I totally am not, I'm a total noob when it comes to programming. I still use uh, very simple um, programming tools like Scratch and Stencil that um, I actually started uh, using in one of the, one of the video series. Uh, but we're going to talk about Scripts, and Scripts is actually super fun. So I'm not going to go to Steam yet. Uh, the game is actually um, on sale. It, it does cost money, uh, but you can try the live demo just to see if this is something that you would like to play as well. And I'm going to show this uh, to you. We're going to play through the demos and through the tutorial just a little bit. Uh, but let's just um, let's just go into the actual go to the video here and just to see how complex the game um, becomes in uh, in the future basically as you're playing through this game you're controlling all of your little characters all of your little minions using nothing but scripts and codes and all of these require good understanding and knowledge of javascript you will obviously learn javascript as you play this but you do need to have some basic uh, knowledge when you start playing otherwise you'll just kind of be bored and always constantly lose like that's essentially what happened to me which is why I don't feel comfortable showing you the actual gameplay. We're gonna go to the tutorial instead. Um, but anyway, so let's go into the live demo. Uh, there's no registration required. And this is all based on the um, browser-based uh, kind of a tutorial where you have various um, coding tutorials as well. And so there's three modes here. There's the tutorial, which we're gonna play through. There's a training mode where you, you can kind of practice and do various things and also the custom mode as well. Um, now we're gonna go through the tutorial first because it gets really, 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 really complex. So let's uh, just start with the game UI and basics. And essentially this is what the game would look like. So you'll have a map and these are actually called rooms and in every room you'll have a spawn where you can create various units and um, resources like this for example that you can collect and uh, various things that you can construct. There's a room controller that allows you to, to build things and uh, basically your goal is to um, try to conquer every room but instead of using uh, right mouse click to move your units you're basically going to be doing commands and console um, console commands which would be right here so for example so this is one of the first thing we have to do we have to try to create um, our first unit so we're going to actually create the first unit by doing the following we're gonna write this script. I'm actually just gonna copy paste it because it's already given to us. And what this will do is it will spawn um, our first spawn. Uh, this is basically the class of spawns. It will create a creep, which is basically a command for creating different creatures. And you can actually go through the commands in this game by uh, reading these documentations here. And it will have these three different um, abilities, work, carry, or move. And its name is going to be harvester one. So let's actually just um, copy this. And we're going to put this right under console right here. This is our command line and boom. And here comes our first harvester. It's going to be created, but it's just going to sit there because in this game, everything needs to be done through codes, which is actually both the advantage and the disadvantage. I think it's an advantage because it will teach you, um, it will teach you to use JavaScript really, really well. But it's a disadvantage because some people might get bored with this, but uh, from what I understand from the comments um, of this game, uh, basically most uh, people that, who are familiar with JavaScript absolutely love this. And the best part about this game, the educational potential of this game is actually quite incredible, but the best part is that um, it essentially teaches you to modify your scripts, uh, to make them really simple and to make them very effective. So basically it teaches you to debug really, really well. Now the next uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to actually develop our first script. This is a script that will find resources and basically store them in our harvester. So I'm not going to go to the detail here. If you know, if you're familiar with Java, you can actually take a look at it. But basically um, what this will do, uh, we're going to put it under scripts right here. And this is going to be our script for this particular um, dude right here known as spawn one uh, we're going to submit it and look at that it starts looking for the resource which is right here and it's going to automatically approach it using this relatively simple command 
and then we'll start harvesting it. Now we also still need to modify this a little bit so it actually returns back to the base, so it actually starts uh, transferring resources back to the base, and likely the tutorial provides you all of this. You can kind of go through it in detail just to see um, how it's actually calculating everything. This a little bit of simple math involved, like for example, less than or more than commands and um, comparison com commands and um, if else commands as well. And all of this uh, is very typical to any programming language, but here you're only using JavaScript. Um, so it is very, very specific um, to JavaScript. And uh, which actually makes it really, really perfect for people who are learning JavaScript. This is actually a perfect game. And JavaScript is one of the most popular languages right now, so definitely consider getting this. Now, uh, this game is actually currently on sale. It's about um, $14, I believe, um, but uh, regular price is $16. The only disadvantage is that there's actually something called a monthly pay as well. And you can still play this game for free in single player mode uh, for as long as you want. But if you want to play with other people, if you want to basically play as an MMO game, you do need to actually try to um, essentially pay for it monthly. So it's a, it's a bit of a disadvantage. But essentially, this is kind of the natural of the game. So you create these spawns, you create various buildings and rooms. Um, right now, we're trying to create our second uh, spawn or our second harvester. So this guy needs to deliver a little bit more resources to us. And we're going to accelerate time here a little bit just so it goes faster. Um, and as soon as we have enough resources, we'll be able to construct another harvester. And there he is. So uh, the game is very, very complex. The game is really, really difficult, but kind of fun. I mean, if you are familiar with all of these commands already, if you kind of know and can understand what's going on here, you're going to really, really enjoy it. And if not, this is actually a perfect game to learn JavaScript. I think in terms of actual learning potential, this has incredible learning potential. This is such a, such a good game. I mean, I wish I was better at JavaScript so I can actually enjoy it and show you the actual gameplay from the real game because... I'm just not comfortable enough to, to do it, but, you know, I wish I could. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is definitely a game that I would totally recommend for anyone learning programming, for anyone that wants to become better at coding, or for anyone that actually wants to try a strategy game that is very, very educational and is actually kind of challenging. So, um, the actual online component in this is really really fun you'll play against other people and what you'll be doing is um it's all in real time it's all in a um, on a server that stays up all the time so you'll actually construct your base and then while you're away while you're sleeping or something anyone can actually come and attack you but they will have to obviously um overcome your defense codes defense scripts that you'll create here so maybe you'll have a bunch of units running around that will have a script where they'll attack anyone who comes into your room or maybe you'll have uh, some kind of a greeting for them like hello Welcome, don't kill me, please. And so there's there's quite a lot of various potential and a lot of various options for you. So there's no one way of winning. And obviously you can, you know, make allies, um, create various non-aggression pacts and alliances, and you can basically enjoy this game in various ways. And let's actually maybe go through some of the other things that are available to us here. So one of them is actually the tutorial with all of the commands, all of the possible things you can do in this game. And there's actually quite a lot of stuff. As you can see, if I scroll down here, it is a ridiculous, a ridiculous amount of different commands. So yeah, the game is not easy. Don't expect this to be uh, a breeze strategy where you can become master of it um, within a few hours. But yeah, the, the way this game works is that it's easy to learn, but it's very, very, very challenging to master. And uh, it's asking me to sign in, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Instead, we're going to go into trading mode here. And this is essentially where you can kind of uh, play around and uh, learn various things by yourself in single player mode. And you can kind of just start creating different spawns and different buildings and basically harvest the resources uh, just to practice the actual game before you jump into the multiplayer mode. And if that's not enough, you can also use this custom mode right here. Uh, it's also free as well. And this is basically a construction mode where you can kind of create your own design and then test it out and see if it works or not. Uh, and basically, that's essentially it. That's essentially the game in a nutshell. Now, that's kind of all I wanted to show in this particular video. Except for maybe one more thing I wanted to show you before I finish this video. And that's, of course, the price here. So it says uh, you can buy this for uh, $14 right now. It's about $15 uh, regular price. But I guess the biggest part is that if you want to play this online, um, you know, for a long time, uh, you need to subscribe for uh, for what's known as a subscription plan. So this is called a CPU subscription plan. This will allow you to use 
all of the possible resources the game offers you so you need to pay about nine dollars uh, a month um, or you can basically play it for free but with limited resources or only in single player mode uh, this however does include 30 days free of that so you can always try it and see if it's for you or not uh, this is essentially if you really want to challenge and if you want to battle other javascript programmers um, out there in real life in uh, online environment and this is definitely something that this game has that no other game actually out there does and i think this makes it very very unique and very original and anyway so that's all i wanted to say about uh scripts give it a try i'm posting the link for this in the description below and if you've enjoyed this video and if you actually learned something from it don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends and possibly even consider supporting us on patreon because it does allow me to buy better equipment in the future because you know that thing i'm using right here it's super super old it sounds very cranky too anyway thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next video game you later and as always, bye-bye.